Thank you, and thank you all at NASDAQ for uh, hosting us here today. We're so appreciative. As you mentioned, my name is Christine McMahon, and we are FedCap. We're very excited and we're honored to be here today to ring the closing bell at NASDAQ. 75 years ago, FedCap was founded by veterans from World War I who were injured. Throughout history, we have forged public-private partnerships, which we believe are the best way to ensure that people in our communities can achieve economic independence. FedCaps helps people with barriers reach economic independence through state-of-the-art evaluation and training, and most importantly, a job. We work with veterans, people with disabilities, children aging out of foster care, and communities that have spiking unemployment rates, like 30% in the South Bronx. Through our partnerships with national and local companies like Geico, Restaurant Associates, and locally, Red Rooster Harlem, with government agencies like Access VR, Ability One, FedCap workers are all around you. So when the new job numbers come in on Friday, please think about this. As tough as the job market gets, it's always tougher for people with barriers. Like the more than 200,000 veterans that are currently unemployed who work in Afghanistan and Iraq and are home now and can't find jobs. Hiring FedCap workers is good. It's good for business and it's good for society. Staff Sergeant Donovan here went to Afghanistan once and Iraq twice. Took him more than six months to find employment, but he's with FedCap now in our new South Bronx outsourcing facility. Supply Sergeant Newman served in Afghanistan for over two years. Took him many, many months to find a job, but he too is with us at FedCap in our new outsourcing facility in the South Bronx. So we are proud to help these veterans and many others who give so much to America. We want to thank NASDAQ today for this opportunity to reach out to some of the listed agencies, perhaps in New York, in DC, or anywhere in America, to really engage in a dialogue on how we might put our veterans to work in this country. So come on, you two. I think we're going to start the countdown.